Welcome back, it's Dr. D with Salisbury Eye Care and Eyewear and today we're talking about Bono. Bono is U2's front man. No, I don't know how to say it. I think it's Bono. If I'm wrong, I'm sure you'll tell me in the comments. Um, not only does Bono have a couple songs that I personally enjoy just because I'm an optometrist, Staring at the Sun, which you should not do, is in his top five ever according to Google, and I still haven't found what I'm looking for. I love me some eye-related songs. Not only does he have some eye-related songs, he actually has an eye condition called glaucoma. So Bono is always wearing um, kind of an orange tinted colored glasses. Most people know that about him, and the reason for that, is, the reason he cites, is that he's been diagnosed with glaucoma. He does state that he has excellent vision, however, he noticed some notices halos and sort of things around lights and so that's why he wears those orange tinted glasses. Just to give you a little bit of background on glaucoma, glaucoma is typically an inherited condition. It does tend to run in families, although there are many different kinds of glaucoma, some of which are um, congenital, juvenile glaucoma. You can have different types of acquired glaucoma, either from trauma or different disease processes. So you can have like a secondary glaucoma from something else in your body. We don't actually know the type of glaucoma that Bono has, um, but one thing that's true of all types of glaucoma is that you have high pressure in your eyes and that pressure causes damage to your optic nerve over time. Your optic nerve is so critical because that is the cord that connects your eye to your brain and transmits information back and forth. So if you do sustain damage to the optic nerve, you're gonna have a problem with that connection and that's where people will notice visual loss. It's so critical to be seen by an eye doctor because you'll never feel, well not never, but typically you're not gonna feel high pressure from glaucoma unless it's very, very high. Um, the second thing is that you won't notice vision changes until they're quite substantial because vision changes tend to occur on the outsides, on the peripheral of your vision. All of these are great reasons to see your eye doctor every year. That's what we recommend anyway. And during a comprehensive exam, we are absolutely assessing your nerve, assessing your pressure, evaluating your risk of glaucoma at every visit. With glaucoma, the more information we have, the better. So I love to know what your eyes looked like when you were 15 years old or 20 years old, because then when you're 50 years old, I have a better comparison. I can look back at my notes and say, okay, there's been no change or there has been a change. Again, so even if you feel like, hey, I'm young and healthy, I don't need my eyes checked, I can see just fine. There is a ton of value in having a record with your eye care provider that you trust so that over time they can assess your risk and make sure you're not, not developing a disease like glaucoma. All right, I hope you enjoyed our little segment on Bono. Um, his eyes are very, very interesting and we have a much more in-depth article about glaucoma on our website, we'll link it below. You'll wanna check out our monthly blog series that we do. We cover all things eye health, but also celebrity vision. We like to profile celebrities and what goes on with their eyes as well. Sometimes we just speculate because we don't have the full story, but I find them always very interesting to look into. Thanks again, make sure to like and subscribe. We've got videos for you every single Wednesday at four o'clock.